Okay, so something just happened on the streets in real life. I just had a real life encounter with the men's rights movement. Um, I put up flyers for this YouTube channel about the men's rights movement. Uh, I post them around Los Angeles on um, you know, telephone poles or just empty walls, whatever I can find. And today, I confronted a woman who was ripping one of the signs off. And something very interesting happens. Okay, so this is exactly the poster that I had up. Not exactly the same poster, but this is exactly the same copy. I printed like 20 of this exact poster. This is one of them. Um, you can see the men's rights movement is not sexist or misogynistic and supports equality for all. And then uh, the men's rights movement is growing every day. There are many misconceptions about what the men's rights movement believes, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I put an Imgur link down below. Uh, you can read what it says. Note the second paragraph, the first line. The men's rights movement is not against women's rights. The MRM wants to address certain issues that, that are specific to men and boys. And then I have my YouTube channel linked. So she was with uh, two guys. It looked like um, a husband and a wife and a son. Um, she looked about middle age. Um, the son was about my age, actually. And they were walking past... Um, one of those signs that you just saw. And I saw her kind of reach down, grab it, and kind of crumple it up um, right in front of me. And um, her husband uh, said, what's that? And this was right as I was passing them because they had stopped. Her husband said, what's that? And she said, oh, the men's rights movement. Um, it's misogynistic. And I turned around and I said, excuse me, I put that sign there. And that's not your sign to take down. And there was like this pause where they were looking at me and I was looking at them. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to like yell at me or whatever. But she handed me the sign back. I walked back to uh, the transformer. It was like a, the metal box on the street. And I taped it back. And that was it. That was the end of the encounter. You know, I thought there was gonna be like a whole maybe confrontation from them, but no, I, th I think they were so shocked to like see a human being, like an actual human face behind this flyer, because in their minds, the men's rights movement is like this evil thing on the internet, but we're real people. And I think to actually see a real human face, a real person behind the flyer saying, listen, I made that flyer and that's not for you to take down. I think it was very, very surprising to them. But, you know, it was kind of upsetting to me that someone would just rip it down without even reading it or without even reading the whole thing just because, oh, the men's rights movement, it's misogynistic. You know, this just, because I don't think she's a bad person. I think she really believes what she's saying. And it's just an example of like the misunderstanding that people have about MRAs and what we believe. And what's ironic is we look at the poster once again, the very first line, the men's rights movement is not sexist or misogynistic and supports equality for all. So when she rips it off and says, oh, it's misogynistic, it's just like people judge the men's rights movement without even listening to what we're saying. But it kind of made me think that maybe this is what MRAs need to start doing. We need to start going in public and showing our faces and actually talking to people face to face saying, yeah, you know, I'm one of those so-called alt-right MRA Nazis that you read online. This is actually me. You know, this is actually what I believe. And I'm not misogynistic. I'm not part of the alt-right. I don't hate women. And I think if you listen to what we actually say, you just might find that you agree with some of that. So that's kind of why I put my posters around Los Angeles, because I hope people will read them. And even if they don't agree, at least if they come to this YouTube channel, and at least if they watch some of the videos, you know, they can actually hear directly, this is what an MRA thinks and why. And it's probably a long shot, but I kind of hope those people, you know, go back and look at that sign again and find this YouTube channel and come here and watch this video because I kind of wish I had stayed and had a longer conversation. Um, but it happened really fast and I was on the way home and, and it just didn't really work out like that. But I would have loved to have asked, you know, why do you think 
the men's rights movement is misogynistic. Because if you're saying that, you're saying I'm misogynistic. What belief of mine do you think is misogynistic? What about this flyer do you not agree with? What issue of ours do you think is wrong? And, you know, I think maybe that's what it's time to do. Maybe that's what we need to do more. You know, maybe we need to go out and actually talk to people. And not just with the men's rights movement, you know, and feminism, but maybe everything. You know, go out and actually talk to someone face to face. Listen, those scary people, those alt-right, socialist, feminist, Nazis, Antifa, whatever, people that you read about online and you think are so scary or bad or whatever. This is me in person. This is what I look like. This is my face. This is my voice. These are my words. You know, I'm a father or a mother or a sister or a brother. You know, I'm a school teacher. You know, uh, I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm whatever. I'm a human being. I think that might do a lot of people very good.